Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we will see the steps to configure photo redirection GPO in Windows Server 2016. By default, all the files and settings of the domain users stored in the local computer and user specific settings are stored in local user profile. When a domain user log into a computer, then a folder of his username would be created in the user's directory of the system drive of that particular computer which is known as a local user profile and the default path of this local user profile of each user is c colon slash users so let's open the first file explorer let's open c drive let's open users and this is the folder for our user name test user one as a user, when you log into a computer and save some data in the My Documents folder, now if you log into some other computers and want to access the data that you save in the first computer, then how would you do that? Maybe you will say that you can remotely access the first computer using UNC path. Then my question to you would be, what's the UNC path you will use to access My Documents? when you are a simple user and none of the directory is shared on the first computer. However, to overcome this kind of issues, we can redirect my document to a network shared drive. By doing that, you can access the files and data stored in the my documents folder from anywhere. User would get the same content irrespective of any computer they log in within the domain. So in this video, we will learn the steps to configure folder redirection GPU by changing the path of users my document from local computer to shared network drive. And on this Windows 10 computer, early I log in as a domain user name test user one. Let's uh, right click on document, select properties and click on location and as you can see, the current location of my document folder is c colon slash users slash user one slash documents and after applying folder redirection gpu we will check the path again let's click on ok and let's go back to our domain controller here i'll open group policy management snapping remember folder redirection is an user based policy let's open active directory users and computer snapping and for this demonstration, I have an OU named test OU1 and under test OU1, I have a total 3 users named test user 1, test user 2, test user 3 and we have one more group named test users. If we see the members of test users groups, we can see test user 1, user 2 and user 3 are member of our test users group. Let's click on OK. Now you have to create a one share folder. We will use the UNC path of that share folder to save in policy settings so that user data would be stored in that. So let's open file explorer on a D drive. I'm going to create uh, one folder. Let's give a name folder reader. Okay. Let's uh, open saw manager dashboard. Click on file and storage services. Click on shares. Let's create a new share by clicking on Tasks, select New Share. Select SMB Share Quick Profile and then click on Next. Uh, specify the path of that folder which we created earlier by selecting Type a Custom Path. Let's click on Browse and let's select Folder Reader. Select the folder and then click on Next. Now here you have to specify the share name. By default, folder's name will be used as a share name. We want to create this folder as a hidden share. That's why I'm going to add dollar sign at the end of the share name. This is the remote path which we will use to store users document data. Let's copy this path. Click on next. Let's select enable access space enumeration and then click on next. Now as you can see the share permission is everyone full control and that's why we want to modify the NDFS permission to control the access of the share folder. Let's click on Customize Permissions. First of all, I'm going to disable the inheritance because we want to remove this user's entry. Let's click on Disable Inheritance. 
select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object to retain existing permissions. Now let's uh, remove both users entry. Once you remove both users entry, then click on add. Select a principal and let's specify the group test users. Okay, let's click on OK. Now, as you can see, a permission type is allowed, but we want to apply this permission on this folder only. Now, as you can see, they have a permission written execute, list folder contain, read, and let's click on store advanced permission. We want to assign them permission to create folders and append data. Let's click on OK. Then, click on apply and OK. Let's click on next. Let's click on create to create share folder. Okay, the share was successfully created. Let's click on close. Now, let's go back to our group policy management console. Select our OU, that is test OU1, right click on it and select create a GP on this domain and link it here. You can specify any name to this GP as per your requirement. I'm going to specify name folder redirection GPO. Let's click on OK. Select the GPO, right click on it and select edit. In group policy management editor console, under user configuration, expand policies, expand window settings, expand folder redirection and then click on documents. Right click on documents and select properties. Click on settings and here we have a total three options. Basic, redirect everyone's folder to the same location. Second, we have advanced options, specific location for various user groups. And third one is not configured, that is the by default selected options. And for this demonstration, we are going to select basic, redirect everyone's folder to the same location. Under target folder location, we have some options like redirect to the user's home directory, create a folder for each user under the root path, redirect to the following location and fourth one, redirect the local user profile location. Select create a folder for each user under the root path. And under root path, you have to specify the UNC path of the share folder which we created earlier. So let's paste that share folder's path and if the username is Claire, the folder will be redirected to this UNC path clear and then documents. Let's click on apply. When you click on apply, you will receive a one warning message regarding the settings related to folder redirection policy that this policy do not apply to Windows 2000, Windows 2000 Server, Windows XP or Windows Server 2003 and also that we cannot make any change in folder redirection settings in the GPO from those operating system. Do you want to continue? Click on yes. Now click on ok. There are multiple other folder redirection policies that we can configure apart from my documents. For example, desktop, pictures, start menu, music, video, favorites, download, app data, etc. So once we configure folder redirection settings, let's close group policy management editor console. Let's go back to the file explorer. And under folder redirect directory, here you can see right now we do not have any folder created under this directory. Let's minimize this. Now let's go back to our client computer. On this client computer, already we log in as a test user one. Let's manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash foods and then hit enter. It might ask to log off and then log in back to implement this group policy. As you can see, uh, certain user policies are unable that only run during logon. Ok to log off, press Y. Yeah. Now let's again log into our Windows 10 client computer. Let's press the password and then hit enter key. Now let's uh, verify if folder redirection policy is implemented successfully or not by checking the path of my document. Let's open File Explorer. Let's right click on Documents, select Properties, click on Location and here we go. Now we have a path of our share folder 
which we created on our server name folder redirect and users documents will be moved to that folder. You can also see one symbol of a syncing on my documents. That confirms we have successfully implemented folder redirection policy for our test user 1. Folder redirection policy is configured to save the user's content at the centralized location. It would help user in accessing their content from any computer within the domain. It is not limited to my documents. It can also be used to redirect desktop, app data, pictures, videos, start menu, etc. And now let's go back to our domain controller to confirm that users folder is there. Let's open file explorer and under folder redirect directory, you can see we have a user ones folder over there. Let's double click on user ones folder and we can see we have a documents folder under user ones folder. So that's the end of this video tutorial on how to configure folder redirection GPO in Windows Server 2016. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you all for watching this video.